Hello, welcome to this next Substance Painter video. Um, in this one, we're going to have a look at organization. So we all import lots of different assets and, you know, our libraries can get a bit overwhelmed. Um, I've had all sorts of, uh, or heard all sorts of people ask, yeah, how do I organize these? Can I put extra folders in? And the answer to that is no, uh, but you can add extra libraries, which can help you. So, you know, for me, I've got some Photoshop brushes. What I want to, you know, separate out because if I import them in, it's going to really bloat my kind of default directory. So what we can do is in substance, we can go to edit and settings. And it's important you don't have a project open this time because um, none of these options are enabled then. So if we go to settings and then at the bottom, we've got this libraries folder and here I can add a new area. So as I said, uh, I've typed in PS brushes uh, here to label it and then I've given it a location. So this location is uh, I've created a substance libraries folder and within that I've got a PS brushes folder. Now uh, I've done that because I can add extra libraries in here and they would all be in the same place at least it's all collected together then but they won't interfere with each other so if i open this directory you'll notice it's blank at the moment and if i go back to uh, substance all i need to do is press the plus button and that will add this folder structure to my uh, libraries and eventually perhaps if i say okay uh, it should, yes, there we go, uh, fill this with all the appropriate folders for a library, which is excellent. It means I don't have to do it. Okay, so after that, how do I add to that library? Well, first of all, when I'm importing, I need to be in settings and libraries. I need to make this my default library and then click OK. So then I can go and find my brushes. Uh, I've got this brush file here I'm going to drag and drop it into the library and then it knows it's a brush which is perfect and then import resources too I can drop that down and say PS brushes um, it doesn't give you all your libraries there you have to set the default one uh, I'm going to set it back in a moment and then you know we'll go from there uh, right so now if I click import it imports all my brushes and it's done an auto filter for me so it's only showing the brushes that i've imported so if i take that filter off and go to the brushes folder uh, you'll think that okay well it's added them all in there and that is true but this is showing the assets in all of my libraries which is set up here and if i use that drop down there uh, i can go to ps brushes and it will only show my PS brushes. And if I go to my, whoops, if I go to my starter assets, it will only show what's in that library. So you can create multiple libraries for organizing your, um, your content. Um, just one last thing uh, before I forget, I just want to set this library back to be my default because that's got all my usual assets in so let's click ok and we're done so i hope you found that uh, useful um yeah i hope you found it useful <laughs> that's about it really and i hope you have a good day and uh, i'll talk to you again soon